Hi everyone, welcome to Pandas Tutorial Chapter 3, How to Write Data Frame to File. For this practice, I already created data frame from the list. So let me just save the f.head to see, to see the data frame. So we have the three rows here and the three columns. Let's create a CSV file from this data frame. You can easily say the f.2 underscore CSV and the name the file name. Here I'm going to say French.csv and shift enter. Once you click the shift enter here, then the friends.csv file should be in the same directory where the, the Jupyter notebook is. So my Jupyter notebook is this one, so I have the friends.csv file here. Let me open this file, and here you can see we have the same data here. Let me browse a more zoom in here. So we have the row ID here, 0, 1, 2, and the column names, and the same information here. And by default, it gives the row ID and the column name. And uh, let me show you here. So even if you didn't give any parameter, keyword parameter here, we have the row ID and the column name. That means if you give the header is true and the index is true. Header true means you want to have the, the column name and the index true means you want to have the row ID. So you say the shift enter here and uh, let me close this one and uh, open it again. It should have the same information. It should have the row ID and the column ID. Row ID and the column name here, right? So if you don't want to have the row ID here, then what you can do is here, you just give the index is false. Index false. And uh, let me just close and open it again. Now, the friends.csv file should not have the row ID. It should start from the name, then ag, and job. And if you don't want to have the column name in the data here, then you just say the header is false here. And shift enter. Let me close this one and open it again. Now the CSV file should not have the row ID also should not have the column ID. You can see it's just data inside, right? All right, the next one I want to cover is this none value. Since the data frame has none in the genus, the job field, it's just empty value. But what if you don't, you don't want empty value here? What if you just want something like dash or something, something on the string that is showing that this is empty value? Then you can just say here, na underscore rep is dash and shift enter. This na underscore rep means that you want to replace the num value to dash. So I'm going to open this file here. Now you can see, you now you can see the dash here, dash here instead of the num value, instead of the empty value here. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.